In the morning, Henry Ford would visit his collection of historic buildings at Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan. On such a viewing, he may decide that he did not like the location of one building or another. As if they were bookcases or a desk, he would then instruct his staff to move the buildings around. The buildings in the collection were ready and set to pick up and to go. In September 2002, the buildings were once more on the move, more than 50 years after the Roll death of Henry Ford. Henry Ford, not here, you can't see it, but out there you didn't notice when we came in. Henry Ford would come out in the morning and he'd take a bug that he just wanted this building over there. And he'd come out at 7.30 in the morning and he'd snap his fingers and his, his boy would come running in and he would say, I want that over there. And Eight or ten guys would come out and they'd jack the thing up and they'd move it over there and set it back down again and it would be done by noon. Huh. Okay? Really? This is what I was told oh, by yeah. these people over here. Uh -huh. So what it is is if you look at these buildings that they've got up, yeah. they get them up incredibly fast. They just come oh, up in chunks. because they're all set to go. Absolutely. Okay, well why are they moving them all around now? Because they're reconfiguring the whole place to make it better, to so that it works. I thought maybe it was the ghost of Henry Ford. No, they're... Somebody's <laughs> channeling. They're putting in all the utilities. And the, the foundations they're pouring for them, they won't be moving them again. Oh, okay. The deal is that they're... The cast of characters in this PCLS video were members of the team for the dismantling and relocation of Thomas Edison's laboratory building number 11 from Greenfield Village to within a few feet of its original location at Edison's research complex at West Orange, New Jersey, from where it had been previously dismantled and, piece by piece, moved to Greenfield Village in 1940 for Edison's friend Henry Ford. <laughs>